Hey guys, Thundi E here, and I have got what I consider the best portable speakers for the summer 2019 right here. And we've got quite an array of speakers. We've got about five in total. Let's find out why they're actually worth picking up. Okay, so portable speakers are a dime a dozen out there and you're looking for something really good for the summer for whatever occasion you have. And we've got different speakers to match your style, taste, and also occasion. I'm gonna start off with the very first obvious one here on the right. This is the Sony uh, GP10. Uh, this is a party speaker. Uh, this is one that is portable, though a little bit bigger, as you can see in the size. And it's got a couple of options that you actually uh, will be quite impressed with. First off is the fact that it, you can go ahead and recharge your device with it. Uh, so if you have a smartphone or anything like that, that's pretty cool. It's got a couple of options. It's got, it's got an antenna for FM radio, uh, lining USB as also, as well as uh, Bluetooth. Now what's cool about the speaker is that it opens up. Uh, basically a party speaker, if you're tailgating or you're going to sporting events, it's got cup holders for four cups. So you can put your cups down there. And uh, because of the way it's built, it actually keeps audio um, vibrations off the cup, which is pretty cool. Um, and you get some really clean, loud sounds. Now in the front, you've got two tweeters. When you open it up, uh, using the latch behind to open up the speakers, it actually gives it a breather and, uh, sorry, a bigger breath of sound. And without wasting more time, let's take a quick listen. So yes, that is a GP10. Retails for about 249. I think this is a good uh, tailgating speaker for anyone who has sporting events, picnics, or just hanging out with a bunch of friends and is gonna party and also this is splash proof. Now, moving on to our next speaker from Sony. Uh, this is the XB22. It's a $99 speaker. And what I like about this speaker here is its simplicity. Uh, it's got lights built into the front. Uh, and it's very simple. It can stand either on the side or basically uh, in portrait, if you will. And it's got a lot of bass. This is a bass filled speaker. Now, Sony has an option to uh, what it calls live. So basically it gives you this live feeling, which uh, and I think it's okay. Now the cool thing about the speaker is it's also got NFC tap to pair, which is nice. And at the back, you do have ports. Now, uh, other than this, which uses with the GP10, which uses a, a, a standard lining plug, Every other speaker here uses micro USB. No one has switched yet to USB type C. So that's just something to take note. You've got an auxiliary port at the back, a battery indicator, uh, a few other things. And again, this is also a IP67 rated speaker. Now you wanna hear how well does it sound? Let's take a listen to the sound of the XB22. <music> Yeah, it sounds really good. Loud, it's clear, it's robust. Uh, I think a lot of people will like this at its price point, and I think it's something that really goes well. Now, our third speaker is one that is no slouch to the area, one that pretty much started the craze. Uh, this is from uh, UE, this is the UE Boom 3. I've got a custom edition, you've got a customizable edition here. The UE Boom speakers are really good. Um, you've got that cylindrical nature and look. Uh, it floats when it's in the water. This retails for about, I believe, $199. Uh, battery life is about 15 hours here on the speaker. You've got the custom logo, micro USB port on the, on the back. The one touch button for music controls, you can use the app. And with the app, you can turn off your speaker, turn on the speaker, fix the bass and all that stuff. If you also want to get your volume controls, you can, I mean, uh, your volume indicator, you can also press the plus and minus button together and that will give you your uh, volume percentage. 
But how well do these sound? Are these loud enough? Uh, this is great for that, you know, outdoor summer party or barbecue. Well, let's take a listen. Yeah, so the UE Boom 3 are pretty loud. One of the loudest, actually. It's surprising how loud this is, even compared to the other speakers out here. Uh, there's a lot of volume in there with the UE Boom 3. I like what they've done, and I think a lot of people will like this speaker as well because, hey, it's a name that has done pretty well. Now, moving on to our next speaker is the Marshall Kilburn 2. I love this speaker here because this adds in just more of a music dynamic than anything else. It's got, of course, this amplifier look. It is a portable speaker. You can take it with you around the go. And it's got different color finishes. This is the white finish. I like this. You've got the traditional black amp look to it. What's unique about the speaker is the dials in the top. So you've got your uh, volume toggle, which actually is the power switch as well. You've got your bass and you've got your treble. And then there's a power indicator, letting you your battery level on the left-hand side. Bluetooth sync button. Now that bass and treble really allows you to customize it on the go with the speaker. And I think this has the best audio balance out of all the speakers here. Uh, and especially for its price point, you get this rich sound when you're mixing it in. And I want you to hear that as you hear me play with uh, the bass and treble off, and then I'm gonna just add those in there in this clip and you get a good idea of what it is, actually sounds. And it sounds really, really good. Let's take a listen. Yes, the Kilborn 2 are really good with audio, very rich sound, a little bit pricier, but this is something that you can have at home as your own speaker as well, if you've got a small apartment. And also you can take with you, with you know, to friends, to barbecue, out to the park, and it just will give you not just loud, but rich sound. Now this charges via a port, uh, a standard plug-in port, uh, which, and also has an auxiliary port at the back. So that's just something to take note here. And your battery life, you're looking at about 20 plus hours of battery life. And our final speaker here is the Wonder Boom 2. This bad boy here is just a unique speaker altogether. What I like about it, of course, it's a smaller cylindrical version of uh, the UE Boom. It's got a redesigned finish this year. You've got this the fabric, which is nice. Uh, you've also got the handle, which also looks and feels a bit better. Uh, it's got the one touch button on the top, power button, Bluetooth sync button. The volume buttons you can use, of course, to indicate your battery levels. At the back, you've got micro USB. As I said, no, not everybody has moved to USB Type-C yet in the speaker land. And then you've got this environment button, which is basically like your outdoor mode, giving you a uh, bigger sound volume when you go outdoors. What's cool about this speaker, though, is that you can pair two speakers together, like so, and have either stereo sound with it or uh, individual sound from, you know, on each speaker. You don't need an app, you just need to go ahead and press the top button together at the same time, and it basically links both speakers together. And the sound from these, uh, especially at its price point at $79, is ridiculous. This is probably the best value here, but without saying too much, take a listen and also listen to how it sounds when I change it to stereo because your minds are gonna be blown.
Yeah, sounds really, really good. I like the speakers, I like the pairing. And again, 79 bucks, this is a really great value. You can pick up two and it should give you some really nice, good stereo sound, um, you know, just, just for your, uh, even for your little apartment or if you're you know, going to a friend's place, easy to throw in a backpack or travel with as well. Uh, so these are all the speakers, guys, for the summer. I think you find one for any uh, range and activity. You've got one for like the party mode here. This also has a built-in microphone so you can go in and use a mic and do some karaoke. You've got something that uh, gives you some really good bass at on that a hundred bucks. You've got of course, you know, the big daddy that everybody knows quite well, the UE Booms, UE Booms 3, really loud for a size point. The Kilborns uh, 2 from Marshall give you a lot of balance there. It's a little bit more pricey at $299, but you will love the rich sound you get from this entirely. And finally, man, these guys here, uh, just bang for your buck at $79. So there you have it, guys. If you have any questions or any comments about any of the speakers, let us know. If you want to pick them up, use the links down below. You definitely will not regret it this summer and throughout the whole year. Uh, otherwise, guys, thank you. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, uh, like this video, share it, and always enjoy your entertainment.